Okay, one thing you should talk about state management is the concept of state machines. The idea that you can model your application state as basically a sequence of states with transitions between them. The concept of states and transitions between them is pretty much the main idea that all of the state management libraries you've probably heard of are based on. Redux is based on this idea, MobX is pretty much based on the uh, state X is explicitly based on that and unstated, well, but you can use state machines to help you think about how you, how you design your application. Now thinking in state machines doesn't really come natural to most people, so we're going to do a little practice. We usually draw out state machines as a series of circles which represent our states and arrows that represent our transitions between, between the states. We can model our transition between these states as an, a little arrow where if this is a toggle, clicking on it gets us from on to off and clicking on it again gets us from off to on. That's like a super simple state machine. We can make it a little harder by introducing the concept of a coin and creating a turnstile. A turnstile has a locked position and an unlocked position. When you add a coin, it becomes unlocked and you can add as many coins as you want and you're going to keep unlocked. When you push on the turnstile, you go from unlocked back to locked and when you're locked, you can keep pushing as much as you want, you're always going to stay in the locked position. Now, if we want to draw out a state machine that's going to represent our music video player, we're going to need to expand it a little bit because Technically speaking, a state machine can't represent the infinite states of the music songs that we have. So we're going to cheat a little bit and say that's just an array and we treat it as an array and our state machine just holds an index. Ideally, we would have to, we would have to treat that index as a separate state for each value, but we're not going to do that. That means our finite state machines are not technically, mathematically speaking, state machines, but it works as a general idea. So what we're going to need is an index state that that counts, so goes plus one or minus one, and a, a toggle state that's either play or not play. 